very good news in Syria is that uh, it is a population uh, of people with uh, incredible resilience. We're looking much more now at durable solutions, uh, helping uh, people to restart uh, their lives, livelihood, micro initiative programs. You give them slightest uh, business opportunities and they make the most out of these business opportunity. So surprising uh, actually how well uh, such microeconomic initiatives actually take on and uh, are proving successful. We also work uh, largely on, on making sure that essential infrastructure is, is working and it can be small projects relating to you know, uh, boreholes and others, but it's a country with a very developed infrastructure, so it was including making sure that important uh, water-related infrastructure continued uh, to run. I think the ICRC throughout the conflict probably was key in making sure that 15, 20 million Syrians actually received clean water. In the past weeks, for example, even when there was fighting in the northeast and the water stations were affected, we would still again with the SARC see that our engineers make sure uh, that essential infrastructure keeps running. In our office, in Aleppo, we have an orthopedic center which is right in the first floor. It's rather unique, it's very nice because uh, like this, you know, every day our colleagues uh, can see the good work uh, that is done to support uh, uh, people coming uh, with, with disabilities. Many uh, of the cases are directly war related. People have lost their limb due to the fighting, unexploded ordnance so that they have stepped on. But it is not just that, it can be also other pathologies that require, for example, a prosthesis. Just a couple of months back, there was a big tournament that we're organizing now yearly with our delegation in, in Lebanon on wheelchair basketball. And what has been remarkable is that the Syrian team uh, on wheelchair basketball, they're, they're doing really well. So we're supporting uh, in Syria wheelchair basketball and, and we've brought in even a famous coach who supported their work. And there's a fantastic enthusiasm you know, among the, the wheelchair basketball players. It gives those players you know, a fantastic sense of, of, of competing, a lot of pride in, in carrying it. The Syrian team is a very talented bunch of, of players. in areas that have been further stabilizing. The people are obviously hoping uh, that their life will improve and things will get better, but recovery uh, is slow. Uh, that's why I think there is still a very, very strong need even the years to come uh, for, for humanitarian actors as well to support the population in, in many, many ways.